So in this first example, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm asking to identify the discontinuities, we know that the, the implied domain is all the values that are going to be give you real numbers. So we know that the only values where it can't be is where the denominator is equal to 0, correct? So I set my denominator equal to 0. That's what we did before. Nothing has changed. We figure out x equals plus or minus 1. So that's, I'm actually going to separate these out. So x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. The graph is not defined. Right? If the graph is not defined at those values, um, then we know they're not in the domain. Done. But remember, they can be not defined in a couple ways. They could be a whole or they could be an asymptote. So a whole can be factored out. Asymptotes cannot be factored out. So we factor the numerator. We factor the denominator. Numerator, I factored out GCF. Denominator, I factored out using the difference of two squares. We now see that x plus 1 divides out. So therefore, x plus 1, though, gives you what 0? Which one, of these, I, which one of these discontinuities is x plus 1? The negative 1, right? Because if you were to set these actually both equal to 0, x would equal positive 1, x equals negative 1. So x plus 1, the discontinuity is actually x equals negative 1. So this is your whole, and this is your asymptote. This is removable. This is non-removable. However, your domain, it doesn't matter if it's a whole or an asymptote. It's a discontinuity. It's not in your domain. So our domain is from negative infinity to negative 1, union, negative 1 to 1, union, 1 to infinity. I keep on running out of time with you guys. It's because of that back.